guys, in recent weeks, there has been ramped up agitation for the release of Namde Kano. Namde Kano, he's the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, who has been in incarceration since August 2021. The calls have come from various quarters, notably from a group of parliamentarians in the Nigerian House of Representatives, the governors of the Southeast region and senators of Southeast Extraction in the Nigerian National Assembly. The Igbo says that there is greater impact in acting in unism. This cause, therefore, are most welcome as they are all geared towards achieving the same purpose. The cause have been gratifying and satisfying. It echoes a journey that has been ongoing for a while now, both clandestinely and in, in plain view. The release of Namde Kano is a certified master stroke that will solve a lot of problems currently bedeviling the Southeast region and the nation at large. It will be recorded that the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Okeze Kalu, had since resumed of office Prioritized resolution of the security impasses in the southeast region. This is no gain saying the fact that the social, economic, and indeed every fact of existence in the southeast region has taken huge blows due to the lingering insecurity in the region. Is it at all? Phenomenal which was originally introduced by the IPOP High Command to press home their demand for the release of Kano, has had deleterious and devastating impact on social, economic, and political development, livelihoods, well-being, and civic freedoms in the Southeast region. The weekly seat at home, which is being observed every Monday in the region, has ruined the economy of the Southeast and worsened the plight of the toiling people, most of whom depend on daily earnings, thereby increasing rural poverty and misery. The sparks of insecurity in the Southeast has led to the death of men more than 1,700 people between January 2021 and June 2023, according to data from the International Center for Investigative Reporting, ICIR. It is also important to note that a group of state and non-state actors have taken advantage of the situation to unleash auto-world carnage on the region. The result is the, the rise and reign of voting armed criminals group described as unknown gunmen. This group of criminal murderers are majorly behind the killings in the Southeast, unmasking their true identity, whether state or non-state sponsored, is key to addressing blood littering in the region. There is therefore no gain saying the fact that the release of Kano and his anticipated public dis dissolver of all groups hiding under dissolver of all groups hiding under the IPOP agitation to perpetrate violence in the region will go a long way to cropping the spark of mindlessness, blood littering in the region. This is why it is imperative to commend the efforts of the Deputy Speaker, Benjamin Kalu, who has championed a non-kinetic approach to the cessation of hostilities in the region. A part of Kalu's advocacy for peace to return to the Southeast region 
He, alongside other members of the House of Representatives from the Southeast region, set up the Peace in the Southeast project, with primary objective to promote a non kinetic approach to peace building in the region. The Peace in the Southeast project was unveiled formally on the 29th of December 2023 at a grand event attended by President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who was represented by the Vice President Kasim Shetima. Also in attendance were the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the Deputy Senate President, Governors of the Southeast States, foremost traditional rulers in the country, including Ubi of Onicha, Igwe Afred, Achibe, the Emir of Kano, Alaji Aminu, Ado Bayaro, then he was the the he was the the Kano Emian then. Okay, the Oni of Ife, Ajaja Enitan, okay, Ogu Oguansi and the Emir of Puchi Alaji Nase Ado Bayaro, among others. The President General of Organizing Digo, Chief Emmanuel Iwenyango, was also present alongside an array of the leading industrialists, social, political, and cultural icons in the region, including religious leaders and academic, academicians. So guys, all this English here and there, it still boils down on what Nigerian government wants to do with Namde Kano, the IPOB leader. Just like what the, the news have said, he said Namde Kano holds the key to peace in the southeast. It's only Namde Kano holds the peace, uh, um, yes, in the southeast. Now the question is, is the federal government of Nigeria ready to let him go? Because with all these persuasions from these people, these Nigerian leaders, Nigerian governments have not, have never said anything about Mazen Namdi Kanu's release. Though we've heard that uh, there, there's a rumor making around that the, the president, you know, had it in mind to release Mazen Namdi Kanu in October 1st. That is a kind of amnesty. But the government of Nigeria had never said anything like such. So we are still waiting to hear from them what, you know, they have to say. And don't forget that September, Mazen Abdi Tano will be appearing in court once again. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you and bye for now.